Okay, so it's no surprise I just totally missed the tape. I can't unbox, here we go. Oh shit, I'm cutting the cardboard. So it's no surprise that uh, GPU prices have not come back down. So that's why this might be more, make more sense than ever to actually consider a pre-build. And what we've got here today is actually a pre-built computer by NZXT. Yeah, NZXT actually makes computers. Did you guys know that? So this is part of their build or BLD. And if you guys can go to their website, configure a system and have it shipped to you. And the best part is graphics cards are actually pretty close to MSRP. All right, so here's what we got inside. I have not opened this yet. I'm opening it on camera for the first time. So it looks like we've got a cam is complete monitoring solution for your PC. It shows you how to plug everything in, quick start. I mean, if you've never had a computer before, this might be useful, but uh, we don't need that around here. Then we've got an order summary here of all of our specs. And we'll talk about that in a sec because I basically just went for the top. I wanted to see what the best damn system we could build was. Sure hope it's packaged well. I mean, if it can't withstand me tipping it over, it ain't gonna stand through shipping. So we got some extra power cables for our Seasonic PSU. And this is the good part. Poster. Well, I think we know what brand GPU is in there. Mostly because I, I mean, I picked it, so. Gaming beyond open world. Good, because I hate gaming in closed worlds. So here's all of our brackets and stuff for the AIO cooler that's in there. And we've got power cable, ethernet cable, uh, video cable, I'm not sure what kind it is. It's probably gonna be a display port or maybe an HDMI, I guess we'll see. And that's everything that's in the box. And yeah. Oh, Instapack. Dude, how fast is that Instapack though? How fast? It's Insta. <laughs> what, what yeah. Now obviously they use this Instapack to protect the internals and the GPU from bouncing around. It's obviously gotta survive the soft and gentle touch of UPS and FedEx. With that said, let's go ahead and get that out of here. Tempered glass side panel, so careful. And the nice thing about Instapack is when you put it in there, it just expands and it fills out the space and there it is, everything nice and safe. Now for this build, I obviously went straight for the top. I kind of wanted to see what like close to the best you could build was, but they offer Intel systems, AMD systems, and they keep the parts as close to retail as possible. And when we tried to actually piece this system out, we found that it was very, very comparable to going to like Newegg or something and buying it on your own and putting it together. But the best part is you get a warranty with it. They only charge a $99 build fee and obviously you get a warranty and all that, but getting a graphics card near MSRP is obviously the best perk. So the specs that I put in this here, obviously it's an H700i Black. Uh, because it's NZXT, only NZXT cases are going to be offered, but it's got the Kraken X62 cooling. We've got an MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. It's a 1080 Ti, 11 gigabyte for the Win 3 graphics card, an 8700K. They do offer Ryzen mainstream, like up to a 1700. I didn't see a 1700X or an 1800X or any Threadripper builds, but that's because they're trying to appeal to the mainstream rather than the extreme ex enthusiast. So there's no X299 and there's no uh, X399 for AMD. So just keep that in mind. Power supply, I chose an 850 watt uh, Seasonic 80 plus gold. It's got the cable mod 6 plus 2 pin base or 6 plus 2 basic cable extension. So these are all cable mod cables here. So they've got combs on there to keep everything looking nice and pretty. We've got 32 gigabytes of G Skill DDR4, obviously in red. You can see we went with the red theme because you can also choose the color theme. You just, you choose the color tab. You say, I want blue or I want black, white, red. And so that will be the aesthetic for it. Uh, we've also got two crucial MX500 SSDs, or one terabytes. So I've got two terabytes of SSD storage there. And then we've got a Samsung 960 Evo M.2 as our main system drive. And then of course the NZXT USB expansion because there wasn't enough USB ports on this motherboard. And the cool part was the configurator automatically recognized that and then tells you like, hey, we have to use the USB expansion port because you don't have enough USBs to run like your NZXT Hue and your Kraken and all the onboard stuff. So it adds that, and then of course we have Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. But it's a flat $50 shipping to the United States where regardless of where you are, so 50 bucks shipped, and this is what you get. Before we get into games and we talk about benchmarks and stuff like that, because there's kind of a neat dynamic when it comes to building these systems and FPS and all that, we'll talk about it in a sec. I wanna kind of take a look at uh, 
cable management and stuff right here. So the back panel just pops off, just like any other 700i. And check it out. So we've got our USB hub kind of just chilling down here. We've got our focus power supply, our extensions. Nothing looks like it was just thrown together. I mean, everything's through its channels. So that's a definite good thing when it comes to the build quality. Don't see anything that really stands out to me that would be a problem. So let's go ahead, close this back up. And let's talk about performance because one of the things that is kind of unique about the BLD service from NZXT is it has an FPS guarantee. The, when you build the system, the very first question they ask you is what games are you going to play and what resolution are you gonna play them? And then it shows you what the FPS will be based on the settings that you pick. So you can kind of give it a target, like I wanna play PUBG in 1080p at 60 FPS. Then it kind of gives you like, okay, here are our recommendations and then you can scale up or down for there. So any changes that you make will automatically adjust that FPS. Now the three titles that I chose for this system were PUBG, because that's really still a very popular game. I also chose Rise of the Tomb Raider just because it's a benchmark that I use quite often. And I also chose World of Warcraft. But at 1440p, which is what I chose, that was my target with this build, 1440p and I wanted like 90 FPS for PUBG. We're gonna test that and see if that's what you actually get. So here we are in PUBG, we're at 1440p, and if we look at the settings, you can see we are at ultra on all of our settings right here, 2560 by 1440, and we were promised 91 FPS according to the configurator. Now in the starting area, you can see we have exceeded that by quite, don't, you don't get to hit me and run away. Get, get up. <laughs> So anyway, we are at 125, 4, 20, 27, 5, 4, oh, you get the point, okay? It's much higher than 91 in the starting zone, but we'll see what happens once we're in the game. All right, look at that. While we're flying through the air, we are in the 130s and 40s. It's, the counter is going so fast, I can't actually stop it. So now that we're on the ground, we're actually having to render all of these buildings and things. You can see our FPS is still over-delivered. We're looking for 91. We're well into the hundreds, hundred and teens or so. It's moving so fast, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but that's that's awesome because if you were expecting 91 and you were getting 80, well, that would be a over-promise, under-deliver, which is what we're actually not getting here. But the thing is, the FPS and stuff, to be honest, guys, it doesn't matter if someone else built it or you built it, it's still running off the shelf components. An 8700K, a 1080 Ti, and our screen is tearing really bad because we're on a 60 hertz panel. But that brings up the point of, you know, you can tailor your system based on your needs and the games you wanna play, so you have an expectation rather than trying to watch benchmarks and stuff to figure out, well, what kind of performance you're gonna get. You actually know with uh, something like this. Now, as you can see, we're sitting here in this corner and we're sitting like right about 92 FPS, 88. I, I can't really tell, it's fluctuating so fast. But the bottom line is we are, we are getting what we were promised, and that's pretty awesome. And the same thing with Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, obviously the performance is there. This was a top tier system build, and I wanted to see if it uh, came close to the promised FPS, and clearly that's what we're getting. This is how you play PUBG. You just hide in the bathroom, and you wait with a shotgun. Isn't that camping? No, because I'm not outside. Let's talk about pre-built systems for a second. It's, it's obvious that I'm a proponent for DIY or do-it-yourself, and I'm always gonna encourage people to do that, but there are some times when people just are not comfortable with taking expensive components and taking the, the chance or risk of damaging something, or they're just not confident enough to put together their own system. And if that's the way you feel, then I have failed, but that's okay, because that's why system integrators exist. Now the nice thing about the NZXT or BLD or build services is the fact that everything is off the shelf. What you see right here, you could create 100% on your own if you want to, because there is nothing proprietary or special about this build, other than the fact that NZXT is doing it for you for a nominal build fee and keeping the parts within a, like as close to MSRP as they can get it. And we tried to build this on our own through, through Newegg and it was very, very close in terms of pricing. GPU prices are not inflated because System integrators are actually getting the graphics cards for the cost that they would traditionally get them rather than the terribly inflated prices that we're dealing with right now. So it makes for the, like the first time in history, it's actually cheaper to build this system or get it through a system integrator or builder like NZXT than doing it on your own. Because when we tried to do the pricing on our own, we used MSRP for the graphics card, 
which you all know you cannot get a graphics card for MSRP, but NZXT can. So now you've got this system here that is cheaper than you can build it for, which is why we're in a really interesting, I don't wanna say exciting, I mean, it's good for people who are not comfortable with building their own computers, they can get one for a great price. If you're looking at upgrading a system or doing a complete overhaul, going with a pre-built has never made more sense than it does today. And that's an interesting place on where we are, and I don't think it's a problem though. The more gamers we have, the more people we have playing games and getting excited about their computers, because you're probably gonna upgrade it on your own when it's time, is uh, that's a good place. That's the whole point of this channel. And I think NZXT has done a great job at building a system that you'd be proud to put on your desk and showcase and show off to your friends and your family. And with the NZXT Hue lighting system in there, you can come up with all sorts of lighting effects. Obviously, I just chose red. I wanted a simple red theme. And that's exactly how it shipped. When we booted it up, it loaded into the profile that was set after we did a update. So Windows was right there, ready and waiting to make us wait with an update. But once we got through there, went through and tested our games, they under-promised and over-delivered, which was great. We got more FPS than we were expecting based on the FPS estimator on the configurator, and that right there speaks volumes. So guys, tell me what you think about pre-builds. Do you think we are in a, sp a place now where pre-builds make sense? We've got new graphics cards on the horizon. We know 2018 is going to bring new graphics cards, hopefully from AMD and NVIDIA. And I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with pricing as we move forward. But the fact that system integrators can get cards for MSRP and not inflating that price and passing it on to the gamer is uh, obviously a good thing. So guys, sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Look in the description below. You guys are gonna find the link. You guys can go and kind of configure your own systems and check it out. And again, a huge thank you for NZXT for sending the system over for us to borrow and take a look at so we can make this video for you. Uh, they kind of freaked out a little bit because I went balls to the wall. I clicked the top tier everything because I wanted to see uh, what was actually going to happen in terms of you know, how crazy could we build this system. And obviously it can scale up or down, well not really up from here, but it can scale down to fit your budget and your games and your FPS requests. And that's a cool thing. That, that system alone, so it takes out all the guesswork on how good are my games going to run. You know before you get it and based on what we saw today, you're probably going to get more than, than you asked for. So anyway, once again, huge thank you to NZXT for sponsoring today's video. And guys, we're going to go. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.